Each individual player has to fully understand the importance of a straight line defence in front of the ball. It also helps their understanding if they appreciate how easy it is for the offence to penetrate a line which is broken by one player either moving forward too quickly or on the other hand too slowly. One of the tactical aims of rugby is to have more players around the ball than the opposition and therefore the defence should always attempt to have three line defenders around the ball carrier. When this occurs, the defence becomes proactive and can move forward and forcefully dominate the ball carrier. All the players in line, therefore, are working together in threes. The defensive line has now been developed which, as long as the players in it can tackle, will cause the opposition immense problems. The defence should be in control. Because of this, the opposition will attempt either to outflank the defence or to use their kicking skills to penetrate by pushing the ball through the spacings are chipping over. This will be nullified by the pendulum defence and the key person is the scrum half. He will defend behind the rook and he's got some really important duties. The first one is his communication skills to the players in front of him and he will organise them and make sure that the defensive so is solid. Secondly, if the opposition get numbers on one side of the rook, then he will quickly join the line and equate numbers and will defend there until he considers the situation to be safe. Thirdly, he will defuse any kicks through the defence or kicks over the defence. And by doing this, he will allow the fullback to stand a little bit deeper and the fullback and the two wingers form the final aspect of the pendulum. The back three players, therefore, also work in threes. The fullback in the middle and the right and left wingers on each side of him. And they work in the pendulum and should be able to defuse any kind of attacks that the opposition will throw at them. If the opposition launch an attack, down the defence's right flank, then the right winger will come up level into the defensive line to create more width. His only concentration is to defend in the line, but to do this he has to be totally confident that the space behind him is well covered. This is the role of the fullback. The fullback, therefore, no longer tracks the ball. As soon as he sees the winger move up at the end of the defensive line, his first priority is to cover any kicks behind him. He is also, of course, in the perfect defensive position to make a cover tackle if the opposition do outflank the line, and it is therefore able to give the line even more width if necessary. As this occurs, the left winger, knowing that the opposition are launching an attack at the other side of the pitch, moves across field covering all eventualities inside the fullback. He will be covering quite quickly and will also be able to give more width at the end of the line in the unlikely event of a penetration. If the opposition change the direction of their attack and target the defence's left flank, then it is, of course, the left winger who moves up into the line. The fullback will then cover behind him and it is the right winger that covers across behind the fullback. It is vitally important that the back three players develop a close understanding with one another because they are working closely together as a special team. Their communication has to be developed in addition to the tactical decision making. The fullback also has to recognise when the scrum half has been forced into the front line and is no longer in position to defuse the opposition's short kicks. 
When this occurs, he has to move forward to accept this added responsibility. And as a result, the pendulum no longer functions with the same efficiency. The scrum half has got to realize this and move back into position behind the line as soon as possible, thus releasing the fullback of his added responsibilities. The back three have to be most alert and will cover a lot of ground behind the line, but they do have the advantage of always being in the game. Here we see an example of outflanking the defence down the sideline. And it is usual for the fullback to make the first tackle. If the ball carrier has support, it is vital that the fullback concentrates fully on stopping the ball carrier. His first priority is to tackle him in possession. But if this is not possible, then he must at least hinder his progress and prevent him from moving on as a support runner. If the ball carrier does pass to a supporting runner, then the blindside winger will tackle him before he reaches the goal line. The scrum half will give additional cover by cutting out any inside options.